so today the topic we are studying is timeline now if you want to study about dinosaurs or the prehistoric things you first know need to know about timeline or how would you know like the t-rex was in the cretaceous period now you are thinking what is the cretaceous period what is the eon now the first thing that in the timeline is the timeline and that's funny now the timeline consists of three parts uh, we have the we have our eons which are the largest we have our eras the paleozoic the precambrian mesozoic cenozoic and the periods quaternary territory cretaceous jurassic etc there are many of them so basically the eons are the lo largest extremely long periods and eon is usually a billion years and there are four eons now the first comes the hadean eon it was the first eon starting of the earth then proterozoic eon it's the third eon phanerozoic and archean so archean was the second eon the second eon was like the earth is starting to get bacteria Proterozoic started like Earth is having oxygen, multicellular organisms, and then comes the Phanerozoic eon. Now, Phanerozoic eon may look very large in our timetable, the Phanerozoic, like large, but it is literally smaller than these. Now, you see, these are like 550 million years, is this. Now, Hadean is 540 million years, Archean is 1500 million years, and Proterozoic is 2000 million years. Now, it's looking small because the organisms weren't, uh, were, came like late. And these Archean, uh, Proterozoic, Hadean, these were like when the first organisms came bacteria, algae, jellyfish invertebrates so basically which were very old now uh, these uh, eon is considered the largest at scale of time but the precambrian era era is a very long period of time smaller than eon but the precambrian era had the hadean eon the proterozoic eon and the Archean eon, the eons which were the largest ones, the forming of Earth was in the Precambrian era. Now, Cenozoic era, Paleozoic and Mesozoic, there are only four. Now, Paleozoic era had its first multicellular invertebrates, then vertebrates, fishes, land animals, amphibians, everything was in this. Like, its first era had a uh, Anomalocaris is a species. Now it is species of invertebrates. It had Priapulate, Hallucigania's, Marilla, Picaya, and many more. So Cambr now we have Cambrian periods. So now coming to the periods. A period is a small subpart of era, like Jurassic period, Carboniferous period, to name a few. Like the a lot of periods now we have our uh, what do you say it? Uh, the precambrian era it has two periods we have our we have our uh, paleozoic era it has six periods we have our mesozoic era which has three periods and cenozoic which has two periods so every era has some small periods now you see the paleozoic era was the starting of life it has dunk this first dragonfly it's called magnora mesozoic era it started dinosaurs triassic period hererosaurus it came jurassic period stegosaurus triceratops came cretaceous period and game t-rex now some of you may not know that t-rex didn't come in the jurassic period it came in the cretaceous period I don't know why the Jurassic will do that. 
but this and uh, now the sin is like era which has two periods the one period which had our ice age and the period we have we are in quaternary quaternary period so we have uh, we got to know about period era and eons now just to tell like in this uh, timeline they haven't given about the precambrian era but but it is uh here in the before the paleozoic era precambrian era it has two parts archaeozoic and proterozoic era like these eons so the first one is named archaeozoic and second one is named proterozoic era uh, period so like it started to form 4.6 billion years ago bacteria got through uh, there was bacteria in 3.2 million years ago 2.1 million years ago the oxygen started to form in the atmosphere it was raining now 700 million years ago the first multicellular organisms came to life and then 550 million years ago proterozoic era ended the precambrian era ended the protozoic period ended and then gave our paleozoic era now in the paleozoic era came the cambrian period it was called the era of trilobites this is the trilobite it's a cartoon it is a cartoon in this timetable but it was an invertebrate this is not a light it came in the ordovician period this is a jacloptorus came in the silurian period this is an amphibian which was known as acanthostega came in the carboniferous period this is a uh, what do you call it Demetrodon, which came in the permian period this is a lycosuchus which came in the permian period this is a magnear which came in the carboniferous period now it's missing uh, devonian period stuff so i'll just add it so the devonian period had dunkleostis which was which is a bony plate on its uh, head and and it didn't have teeth it was a fish it didn't have teeth it, it instead had bony plates thin plates that could cut through the flesh now coming up we like era ended with a mass extinction and an asteroid now came the triassic period now you know cycads were the trees dinosaurs now that the cycads were a piney tree which is sharp very sharp and it is now present it is present nowadays too and dinosaurs like Jurassic period had herosaurs and many more dinosaurs the Jurassic period had like what do you say stegosaurs the very famous dinosaur and the Cretaceous period had the most of the dinosaurs like Argentinosaurus which was the largest and the heaviest dinosaur Brachiosaur and in the Jurassic period came the Brachiosaur, the lo uh, longest, the longest dinosaur. In the Cretaceous period, it was in the Cretaceous period came the most famous dinosaur known as the T Rex, and this is uh, this is called a Cordypteryx, which came in the Cretaceous period. Now came a tertiary and quaternary period. Now, tertiary had mammoths. Smilodon, also known as saber toothed tiger, um, the tiger with that long teeth. And mammals started in the tertiary. Now, tertiary period was mostly the ice age, it has mammoths, and you may have seen the movie. So, after the tertiary period came the quaternary period with like megalodon and many more creatures, and then comes the humans. So, see, we are. We are like 4,000 year old and these were like 500 million years old. Now the fun fact is the Paleozoic era, first period, Cameron period, but very small creatures like, like this was centimeters small, very small creatures. And the largest was two feet long, sixty centimeter long, Anomelocaris. Now, 
the scientists found a new uh, fossil of a creature of Cambrian period. Now the creature was is known as Titanocorus grandisi, and when it was found, you will, you may try to search it on Google, and only a few articles would be there, or it will autocorrect and show Titanosaurus. Now the Titanosaurus grandisi's best part was it was so big according to its period. It was 1.6 feet tall, uh, large, that it was also it was given the nickname Mothership by the scientists. Now, let's end this and I'll talk about, um, let's see, the Hadean Archean and Proterozoic Eon in the next video. Uh, basically, I will teach the Precambrian era. I work on eras, not eons. I don't like eons.